Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Scott here from Can Geek Games and Collectibles, and it is Sunday, July the 16th. And you should mark this date on your calendar because today, if you're watching this video, you're both a fan of Doctor Who and you're a part of history. And I will get to that in a minute. But before I do, I want to take care of a very quick piece of housekeeping. So, Yesterday, Can Geek participated in the GTA Collectibles Expo, which is a show where we went and we, we sold some board games and some collectibles, and we got to meet some new people and see some familiar faces. And if you were able to come out and join us at the GTA Collectible Expo yesterday, I want to quickly say on both behalf of myself and my wife, who is my business partner, Thank you very much for attending yesterday. Thank you very much for stopping by our table. It was great to see both familiar faces and to make some new friends. And I hope to see you all again soon at our next show. Now regarding our next show, keep an eye on either our social media feeds or on KenGeek.com. And we will give you an update on where KenGeek will be popping up next. So thank you very much. Now, having said that, let's get to the real point behind today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this video, you are part of history in the making today. Because for the first time in 54 years, the BBC has given the green light to a female star for Doctor Who. That's right. So today, it was announced that Jodie Whittaker will be replacing Peter Capaldi as the next incarnation in this sci-fi juggernaut. Let that sink in for a minute. This is the first time ever that the BBC has given the keys to the TARDIS to a female as the lead. And I personally think this is fantastic. Now, as I'm sure the BBC expected, no sooner did they make this announcement than the internet exploded like a forest fire out of control, with people both applauding this decision and equally the same amount of people criticizing this decision. And that's the crowd that I would like to address today. My favorite Doctor Who fandom pages over the last two and a half or three hours since the announcement of Miss Whitaker taking over have exploded in controversy with a lot of people saying that they are done with Doctor Who, they're never going to watch the show again. You know, just a lot of negativity over this announcement. To those people, I say you are simply entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to voice your opinion too, like I am voicing my opinion here on the Ken Geek YouTube channel. You don't want to watch Doctor Who because you object to a female star? Fine. Don't watch it. Move on. Find something else to watch. But let me make a point to you very quickly here before you do move on. This is more than about someone of the opposite sex from you being the star of your favorite sci-fi TV series. This is simply a question of equality. Because frankly, folks, numbers don't lie. In the description for this video down below, I'm going to leave a link to a blog that we published about an hour ago. And when I say numbers don't lie, the very first thing that we point out in that blog is that there are roughly, give or take a percentage point or two, the same amount of men in this world as there are women. And by default, that means that there's just as many female fans of Doctor Who as there are male fans. And I'm sure that a vast majority of the female Doctor Who fan base are probably applauding this announcement by the BBC today. And they have every right to be happy about this. As a male Doctor Who fan, I am happy about this. And here's why. So at the beginning of this video I said thank you on both behalf of myself and my wife. This is a very important point to this video because as a husband who loves his wife, 
I get very indignant and I get very upset when my wife walks into a store or a shop and is not trapped fairly and equally. I get very defensive over that. Not just, by, not just because I love my wife, but because we live in a society now where we expect everybody to be trapped equally, regardless of race, religion, gender, sexual orientation, whatever. So why is it okay to go through life with these expectations, but not be alright with the idea of a female doctor. Why is that okay? Think about that for a minute. It's okay for you as potentially a male watching this video to not be okay with a female lead in your favorite sci-fi TV series. But it's, it's not alright for you when your mother or your daughter or your wife or your sister walk into some sort of shop and are not trapped fairly and equally. Would you be okay with that? Because if you wouldn't be okay with that because you expect your loved ones to be trapped with equality, then why are you okay with not being happy about a female taking over the TARDIS? Just think about that for a minute. Because it comes off as hypocrisy if that's your view. If you are not okay with your wife or your daughter, your mother, your sister being trapped in a non-equal manner in a store and you would be defensive of that, then it's not okay with you to not be happy over the fact that Jodie Whittaker is taking over the TARDIS. Again, it's about equality. So, as a Doctor Who fan, I'm ecstatic. I applaud the BBC's decision to finally give a female the lead in Doctor Who. I look forward to seeing what Miss Whitaker brings to this role. I will be watching it. If I don't like what she brings to the show, I'll stop watching it. But I will give her the benefit of the doubt and I will give her a chance. That's my choice. I hope that whoever is watching this video that you will do the very same thing. Give Jodie Whittaker the benefit of the doubt before you cash out and say you're done with Doctor Who. That's all I'm going to say. So folks, please do feel free to hit the like button on this video if you do agree with what I've just said. If you don't agree with what I just said, then tell me so in the comments below. I'm a big guy. You're not going to hurt my feeling. I guarantee you. Because, frankly... You're entitled to your opinion as much as I'm entitled to mine. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to subscribe to the Can Geek YouTube channel. We would appreciate that. Feel free to share this video. You know, if you agree with me that we need to give Jodie Whittaker the benefit of the doubt and you feel that the internet's full of negativity over this, share the video. Let your friends know that you're not alone in believing that she deserves the benefit of the doubt. Beyond that, though, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you back here again on YouTube soon. And in the meantime, feel free to follow us at CanGeek.com where you will find links to our various social media platforms. Everybody have an amazing day.